Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doke Metal video. In this video, we are going to take a look at how many stones you should have, how many dragon ores you should have, and how many tickets you should have before the anniversary, how many you're going to need, how you can exchange these things in, and if you need stones, where can you find whatever stones you can get. So it's a little bit of a all-encompassing kind of three days before the anniversary panic guide uh, and hopefully it'll be able to help you guys out a lot. So in terms of tickets, you should have 107 right now. If you have completed all of the missions, you'll see them under this tab. Uh, you can see there in the bottom I have 107. If you have not completed all the missions throughout the weeks, you'll have less. It's very difficult to pick up tickets right now unfortunately the missions expired every single week but we'll talk about where you can get some tickets still under the treasure tab you should have 77 dragon ores if you don't have 77 that's okay there is still the missions up for the weiss week the final week so you can still grab 11 of them very quickly uh, and you'll be able to get 11 dragon stones you can exchange all of those in at the Bubba shop and we'll talk about that now obviously in terms of the missions for both of these things uh, the tickets and the dragon ores uh, they are currently pretty much expired uh, there's not a lot of ways to grab celebration tickets uh, especially only really the daily events and the pre the dokan pre anniversary events here you can find some missions here and that's pretty much it. There are still the Whis missions up, as I said, for Dragon Ores, uh, which is great. So you can definitely still grab 11 Dragon Ores if you have not grabbed any so far. But in total, you should have a 77. So pretty straightforward. Um, in terms of, obviously, everything else, uh, a whole bunch of missions that you can complete for stones. We'll kind of talk about that when we go through events. Now, obviously, when the anniversary starts, you're going to want to exchange your dragon ores for stones. You're going to need to actively do that in the exchange shop. A tab will pop up in the Bubba shop right at the end uh, where you'll be able to exchange one ore for one dragon stone. So 77 dragon stones, pretty damn cool. I will do kind of a update video on this slash uh, a second alert to everyone just to show you again how to exchange them and where to exchange them. But for those of you who are obviously watching this video now, please be aware that it will pop up in the Bubba shop. So very, very nice. Now in terms of how many stones you need, well, that's obviously depending on how lucky you get. But generally speaking, I would say you want to be able to do at least two rotations on each banner. Uh, this will give you enough tickets to do additional summons, which is great. Now, generally, the banners are discounted uh, or they have step ups. So we have three steps and every fourth step is free. Sometimes we have both. We have tickets as well. It's pretty huge. Uh, to do two rotations on the banner, you're going to need about 300 and odd stones uh, for each banner. So if you're at around 600, I'd say you're probably in the sweet spot of being able to do enough summons to have a decent chance of grabbing something good. Uh, in terms of where you can get stones, uh, Dragon Ball Story is a great place to get stones. Uh, there's a lot available here. They've revamped all of these events. There's plenty of missions to find stones here. So I highly suggest that you go and start looking there. The second best place to find stones uh, is actually the Super Strike missions. Uh, and just all of these story events in general. Story events are a great way to get stones. If you have not done the stages, you get one stone for every difficulty on each stage. Plus you get a lot of stones from the missions as well. If you have not done the Super Strike revamps for Trunks or for Super 16, sorry, for Android 16 or for Mighty Mask, you can access them through the Portal of Memories as well. Uh, a great place to pick up stones because there's every single event that's ever happened here. Now, as a new player, you're probably not going to have a lot of keys. So I suggest starting with the Super Strike revamps. You have about 20 stones per revamp there. However, they do come back every single day. Although if you're really desperate, rather use your keys and grab whatever stones you can right now. Then in terms of other events that you can focus on, obviously the challenge events are pretty damn straightforward. Uh, Dokkan events, great way to get stones. Every single difficulty drops a stone. 
for every single stage. If you're a new player and you haven't done Dokkan events, maybe because you haven't accessed them before, this is going to be a great way to get those stones. So it is something that I suggest players always check up on time to time. Try and make sure that you've cleared every difficulty of every stage, especially nowadays with obviously, you know, the notion that you can only do the second difficulty to kind of clear everything. It should go a lot faster and a lot more stamina, stamina efficient. Then obviously you have missions for things like Fighting Legend Goku, Fighting Legend Vegeta, SBR stages. I've done a lot of guides to a lot of these on my channel and I hope that you guys will be able to watch those and earn whatever stones you can in terms of your relative progress in Dokkan. The thing I always suggest is obviously Extreme Z Battles. They're a great source of stones. Uh, one stone for every single stage and there are so many of them. You can also access them through the Portal of Memories. So they are literally hundreds and hundreds of stones, especially if you are a new player uh, or you are you know, someone who's missed out on content for a while. Uh, you don't need to finish the Extreme Z Battles. You just try and get as far as you can in each and every single one and you'll be able to get there. Also remember the Dokkan events under the portal of memory screen as well. So yeah, uh, plenty of great ways to earn stones. Obviously quest as well. If you are new, try and do quest. Quest is a great way to earn stones. There's thousands of stones in here. So overall, honestly, obviously if you're a new player, it's gonna be easier to earn stones. If you're a more experienced player like myself, it's very difficult to pull stones out at this point in time. One of those ways is the scout battle. Uh, obviously a lot of people have been struggling with kind of filling up their requests for scout battle or managing to get scans. For those of you who have PCs, I have left a link in the description down below uh, to a Twitter user named Kawai, uh, who's big in the Dokkan battle community and he made a bot that'll help you out. Follow his instructions and hopefully it'll be able to help you. But yeah, guys, uh, good luck for all of your summons and anniversary and getting as many stones as possible. I wish you the best of luck and bye.